Hi, this is Connie. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I just am finished with a couple of my um, junk journals. And I wanted to share this one first. This is, I made this for my uh, granddaughter, Izzy. I've had it done for quite a while, but I want to give it to her when she gets a little bit older. But I'm going to share that one first. And this beast, <laughs> well, she's not a beast, but her name is, her name is... Amelia and I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep this one, but I It's taken me like gosh a year <laughs> If not more to make this one because when I made this one I, then I made this one and one for my mother-in-law and one for my mom and one for my uh, new Great-grandson for his baby book. So I've been making a lot of them, but I want to share this one and Izzy, this is for you. I'm going to give it to you, honey. But when you have to be a little bit older where you can take better care of it and keep it from your baby sisters. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it around and let Chris film me now. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to do it this way and give you all the details I can. Um, the outside the material is from um, Walmart. Just I bought one of them skins of material. And this... Right here, some Timu. They have so many great crafting supplies. And then I got these. I can't remember. I've had them forever. And this little, I got her from Timu too. And it's just to keep the book closed. This is just a, a oh, a hair tie thingy from the, where did I get it? From the Dollar Tree. And then this little, this little fairy. Isn't she cute? I love her. She's from um, Timu. But on the front cover, I have a, a picture of the little flower fairy. Um, I got her from the book, um, Flower Fairies, by, uh, oh, I can't remember her name, but you know, the lady I'm talking about. She's got all kinds of beautiful pictures of, of fairies. I just got a little, pretty little flower right there. And then on the side, I just have, I just did this one with some twine. That's how she's bound in. I just got a little... Ne some necklaces and some pretty little charms and stuff. I just kind of got sticking off the side of her. All right, let's open up and see what we got here. Oh, it's got plenty of lace and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it was cute for a, a little girl. And this is, oh, I can't read it upside down. Berries can't be seen. Sorry, it's hard to see upside down. Oh, fairies can't be seen unless you believe in them. This cute. This is a little door I made. Added some flowers too. And then this is just, uh, these are uh, brad nails. They're little brad things. And you open it up and there's a little fairy hiding in there. <laughs> I just tie that back. So I took Took my time on this, so I hope you like it. But um, this is another, just a little, a little pocket right here. I just have some butterflies in the back. And this little girl there. Okay. And on this page, just have another little pocket <laughs> and a little fairy there. And in the background, just another beautiful fairy. And just some paper. This is a uh, graph paper. And this is some homemade paper that I made with just ink and um, gold and blue paint and then water. And this is just a paper I have and I cut this out. It's a little dragonfly that says some stuff on there and some dried flowers. And then this is this page. <laughs> and there's room to write. You can write on the back side of them. And this one goes up like this. And this one goes up like that. And there's the paper. Oops, got that. A little flower fairy right there with some more lace. And this is just a page, and this is just some pretty paper that I just kind of made like a little notebook out of and just stuck them up here with some, uh, yeah, I don't went to that yet. Stuck them up here with some butterflies, and which is on this page. And this is just the other side. I just kind of folded them over the thing. And I got this from, where did I get this from? I think I, I can't remember. 
I had it. I had it. In my stash of stuff for a long time though, because I knew I loved it, and I was gonna save it, but I can't remember where I got it. And then here's just a really pretty piece of vellum. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And the cute little girl again. Oh, is this the one I just went over? <laughs> I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? All right, which way am I? All right, um, we're here. All right, <laughs> we are here. Oh, and then this is just a little, pretty little flower on there. Some lace and some pretty paper. This is actually, yeah, this one's a napkin. I put a napkin on this paper. And then this on the other side is wallpaper. And this is, uh, I got this offline. I blew it up. Nice. And this is just some more cute little fairy things. A little pocket in here and just some bling bling and some pretty stuff. <laughs> Oops. Again, Chris is filming this for me. He's probably getting tired. That's the other part of that napkin. Another little flower charm right there. Please run right. This is, I, I think this is wallpaper or maybe this is just a uh, pretty paper. I can't remember. Another part of the vellum. And some butterflies. I just Mod Podge them on some paper. The other part of my homemade paper. Get down here. And this little paper. And then here is the middle. Or this is the beginning of the second one. Like I said, I've just got them in here with twine, or not, yeah, with twine. And this is a little envelope that I made. It opens up up here. Little, what do you call these things? I can't remember what they call it. Belly bands in the middle. These. And a little pearl thingy. And this little belly band I made. And I uh, Mod Podge the music paper on a piece of uh, wallpaper, hard piece of wallpaper, and then I mod podge the music paper, and then on top of that I put the, I put the pretty napkin, I put the pretty napkin on top of it. I just like making things look pretty, so. <laughs> this is the oh, cute little boy. Plenty of room to write in here too, Lizzie. And she's got some butterflies, another beautiful flower fairy. I got enough of this stuff, I could make another one of these. They're so cute. I like, I like, enjoy doing it. So, hopefully the grandkids all like everything. <laughs> the other one, I think I'm going to keep her, though. A lot. She's huge. <laughs> another pretty little flower fairy from that book. And this is just another little card I made with a napkin and some music paper and a butterfly and some, uh, wallpaper. This is, is that wallpaper too? I don't know, but you can tell this is because it's kind of, oh, what's the word? Texturized. Oh, if you hear that noise, it's just my dog coming into the bedroom on the, on the wood floor. He sounds like a horse. And here's a little card I made. I just have, have it on with a paper clip. Just a little blank card placed to write. Another little paper with some lace. Another pretty stuff. Just more paper, more pretty paper. <laughs> and this one I think is so cute. I love how he turned out. I like this whole page. And just on a, a napkin or a doily, paper doily. And then there's the yellow flower fairy. The some spring one. To that, what kind is it? I can't remember. I can't even say, <laughs> I can't say that, but that's the kind of flower it is. But I think it's so pretty. Front page, just have it here. And this is the back page. And this is just some tool that um, I had from Easter Bunny or something. And I just put it on there and I thought it looked so cute because it looked like it could be her dress. And there she's helping her little sister. And that is the back. So this book is for Izzy and this one I will be doing a video on when I have like 10 hours to dedicate to doing this because this sucker is full and she's got all the bells and whistles. So, all right. Well, thank you for coming to watch my video and 
I love you, Izzy. I hope you can watch it. Show your mom, okay? Oh, Chris, don't get me 